Hi, my name is Marissa Linz and I'm here today to show you a short workout that you can do every morning to help warm up your body and get ready for the day. So, Melanie, I'd like you to come up to a seated position. And she's going to start with something called the half rollback. So her knees are bent and she lets raise your arms forward. And she's going to take a deep breath in to prepare. And then exhale, start to curl your lower back down. And she's only going halfway down. And then she curls forward, staying rounded the whole time. We're not going to stack back up, just stay rounded. Curl back again. And so she's really articulating her spine here, down to the low back a little more, a little more. There you go. And then curl it back up. Relax the shoulders. And twice more. So rolling down, relaxing the shoulders, and then coming forward. With an exhale. Very good. We'll do one more, Melanie. Rolling down. She's staying nice and tight in her abs. And then exhale, curl and pull yourself forward. Good. Let's stack the spine one vertebra at a time. Building blocks, lengthen to the top of the head. And she'll gonna, she will roll down onto your back now. So exhale, roll all the way down. Lower your arms down by the sides. And then drag your heels towards your buns. Good. We're going into hip escalator. So she'll roll her lower back into the table and start to bridge the hips up to the ceiling, reaching the knees over the heels. Take a breath in at the top. And then exhale, curl down one bone at a time. Right there, through the ribs, through the low back, through the sacrum, and then the tailbone. And again, curling up. Make sure you're standing firmly on the feet. Take a breath in at the top. And then exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Really think of stretching and lengthening the spine. Very nice. We'll do two more. Inhale to start. Exhale, bridge up, 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 up. That's it. Press the arms down. Take a breath in at the top. And then start to roll down. Think of widening the collarbones as well. One more time. Round your low back and start to peel, peel the pelvis up and the low back up. And then exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. Beautiful. A nice neutral pelvis. Moving into puppet arms. Let's raise your arms up to the ceiling. And we'll do double arms at, uh, to start. So she'll raise both arms up reaching the shoulder blades off the table, and then drop them down. That's it. Up and down. Keep going. Inhale and exhale. Very nice. Inhale and exhale. Twice more. Inhale and exhale. One more time. And down. Now let's do singles. So lift your right and then down. Up and down. Very nice. Keep going. So when you do this, you should feel a nice stretch for your back. And rest. Let's do little circles. So she's going to take the arms in opposite directions and make little tiny circles. Keep the breath moving. I like to inhale for two counts and exhale for two counts. Let's reverse. Inhale one, two, exhale three, four, inhale five, six, exhale seven, and eight. Let's round your elbows a little bit like a first position and dance. And then open your arms up to the sides. This is called hug a tree. And then exhale, draw your fingertips toward one another. And again, inhale, nice and open. And exhale. Good. Her neck is nice and long. Inhale. And exhale. We'll do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Reach the fingertips up to the ceiling once again and turn the palms to face down. This is called alternating arms. She'll stretch her right arm all the way overhead and the left arm goes down by the left hip. And you get a nice stretch there on the shoulders. And then raise both arms up to 90 degrees above the shoulders. Pause there just so you can check in to make sure that your shoulder blades are still anchored. And then switch. Good. And then lift it up. And you can keep going, Melanie, but try to do this um, with a feeling of ease. So you don't want to muscle through any of these exercises. You want to make them look easy and make them feel easy in your body. As if it takes as, uh, as little effort as possible. Good. And then lower your arms all the way down by your sides. Very nice. We're going to go into upper body curl now. So Melanie, take your hands and interlace your fingers behind your head. And when you curl your upper body up, think of lengthening the back of the neck first and not just cramming your, uh, your chin to your chest, okay? We say chin to chest all the time, but what we really mean is lengthen the neck and then tuck the chin toward the chest. So 
We'll do this four times. Take a breath in to prepare, and then exhale, lengthen the back of the neck, tuck the chin, drop the ribs, and scoop the low abs. Stay there as you inhale, lengthen back just a little bit, and then exhale, lower back down. Let's change the breath pattern. You're going to exhale as you curl up and inhale, lower down. Inhale to prepare, and exhale, lengthen out and lift. And then inhale, lower back down. Very nice. And again, exhale, lengthen the back of the neck, drop the ribs and scoop the low abdominals, and then roll your back down. One more time. Exhale, soften through the sternum and draw the ribs toward one another, and then lower back down. Good. We'll just do four of those today. Take your arms down by your sides and press the backs of your arms into the table and the backs of your shoulders as well. And we're going to go into alternating toe taps. Draw both knees up into chair position, please. Good. And then she'll start to reach the right leg out and tap the toes down. And then exhale, bring it back in. And then switch. So just keep going, Melanie. So you can just keep alternating the legs, still really focusing on tightening the abdominals. Remember to really engage your internal girdle. Imagine that you're really wrapping the abdomen from the sides, the back, the sides, and drawing all the way together and knitting them together in the center. Good. This looks easy, but it's not. Exhale. We'll do one more. And good. Let's drop the feet down, and we'll do knee sway. So, Melanie, why don't you open your arms out to the side just to get a nice stretch in your shoulders, and then she's going to sway your knees all the way over to the right, and let's turn your head to the left. That's it. And then using the left abdominal, she's going to pull her left hip down and then sway to the other side and turn her head to the right. Good. Sometimes it's nice to get a little stretch there. And again, use your right abdominals and pull that right side down and go to the, the right, head to the left. So just do a few times each direction. It feels really good. Also works your side when you twist. And coming back to center. Very nice. Let's come onto your left hand side. And I'm going to grab a prop so that she, she doesn't have any tension in her neck. And here you go. You can lower your head down and bend your knees. So she's in a nice, relaxed, comfortable position. And we're going to go into clam. So at, keeping the feet together, she's going to open up her right knee and then exhale lower. And inhale open and exhale lower. Inhale open and exhale lower. One more time. Open and exhale lower. Very nice. Now reach both arms straight ahead. Let's get this straight. And we're going to go into something called shoulder opener where you turn your palms so both palms face down. There you go. And she drags her right arm out to the side, opening all the way out to the right. That's it. Turning the head as well and then bring it back. Good. We'll do two more times. And back in. Good. One more time. Really feel that stretch in the shoulders and the chest. And exhale. Bring it back. Very nice. Let's go to the other side. And I'll have you turn around. And I'll scoot you down just a little more. Good. So we're going to go with the clams to start. And she's all nice and stacked here. And she inhales and externally rotates the thigh and then exhale, lower back. <coughs> and again, open and lower. And again, again, really good exercise for pelvic stability. Exhale. Developing strength in the glutes, the hip socket, and the abdominals. And back in. That's enough of those today. And shoulder opener. So both arms come straight ahead. And she starts to drag her left arm, opening it across the chest, all the way over to the left side. She looks at the hand, and then she brings it back. And we'll just do two more. Inhale as you start, then exhale, open all the way out. And then inhale to start. Exhale, finishing up stacking the ribs and the shoulders. One more time. And good. Very nice. Let's come into a child's pose position. Also known as rest position. And we're going to take a deep breath here into the backs of your lungs. Inhale. And then exhale all the air out. 
So you want to really feel like you're breathing into the... Okay, so let's go into child's pose next. We'll take these away. And now she's going to take a deep breath into the backs of her lungs. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. So really feel like you're filling up the backs of your lungs here. Inhale and exhale deeply. One more time. Inhale into the backs of your lungs and then exhale. When you breathe like that, you really do feel a stretch in your back. Now come on to both hands and knees, please. And you want your back to be as flat um, as possible, a, a, a tabletop position. And this next exercise is called pregnant cat. So keeping her, your back in a flat position, you're going to allow your abdominals to hang out. Yeah, don't be modest here. Let it all out. All right. And then you're going to keep the back nice and flat and pull the abdomen up, 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 up without changing the position of your spine. So let's try that again. Exhale, let it out as much as you can. And then pull it up, 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 up. That's it right there. We'll do one more time just to make sure we got it. Exhale, let it out. And then pull it up. Good. Shoulders are back. Very nice. Now you really want to hold that ab the abdomen in just like that for the rest of these exercises. I know it's hard, but try, try to do so. So we're going to go into bird dog. Keeping the abdomen nice and tight, she's going to reach her right arm forward and her left leg back. That's it. Try not to drop that hip. There you go. Or lift the hip. And then exhale, place it down. And let's switch. You can keep alternating sides. Really try to go for a flat back. And then exhale, place it down. Just keep alternating your sides. Stretching out through the arm and the leg. And place it down. One more time. Reaching out. Nice tight abs. And exhale. This is very good for balance as well. Good. And now, let's take the left arm up to the ceiling for thread the needle. So we're going to reach up, again, open up through the chest and shoulders, and then exhale. She threads the needle by lowering the left arm and left ear. Very nice. We'll do one more, all the way up, open, 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 and exhale down. Beautiful. Come on to both hands and knees, and we'll switch sides. So coming all the way up, open, and exhale, lower down. Good. I will do just one more today. You could do three, you could do four. Really what feels good to you is best. And come on down. And twist. And think of wringing out your spine here. Beautiful. Come on to both hands and knees. And we'll go into cat-cow. So make sure that the, the shoulders are lined up right underneath the wrist. And the abdomen is still pulled in tight. Let's inhale and round your spine. Really stretch the back. And then exhale. She's going to articulate her spine from her tailbone all the way up to her head. And again, so rounding, really lifting up, 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 up into the ribs here. And then exhale. Widen through the shoulders. One more time. Rounding. Again, you can do three, four, five, whatever feels good to you. And exhale. Very nice. And let's tuck the toes underneath. And she's going to lift up into an elephant position and just stretch the heels here. Very nice. Or you could do downward facing dog, whatever feels good to you. And then gently lower down to your knees. Very nice. And Melanie, why don't you come to a seated position facing the front? Good. Now I'm going to have you turn around. Very nice. And she could sit, she, you could sit with your feet um, on the floor if you're in a on a chair. You could sit uh, Taylor style. So I'm going to have Melanie sit Taylor style today. And then she's going to reach her arms up to the sides for side stretch. Very nice. She has a nice wingspan there. So let's have her lean over to the left and take the right arm up and over. Exhale. Now give her just a little bit of a stretch there because I'm here and it feels good to her. And then she uses the one long breathing technique to lift up and then go over to the other side. So one long breathing. You want to really think of lifting into the left lung now as you lift up and exhale out of it. Good. And inhale, lift. You can keep going. I'm going to get out of your way. Exhale. And inhale and exhale. Good. Come all the way back up and then exhale. Lower your arms. And you have now just completed your uh, short warm-up for getting ready for the rest of the day. Thank you.